everyone, it's Jody back here with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do mid-November readings for all zodiac signs. I cannot stress this enough that these are general readings. If the message doesn't re resonate with you, maybe next time. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, and shared to my channel. You guys rock. If anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info will be in the box below. There are gift certificates that are now up for sale if you like to give somebody a reading and the tarot class videos are available as well so this is going to be for gemini see what's shaking mid-november with you Making your presence known. We'll see. Bottom of the deck. Ooh. We have the Ten of Swords. Now, gems. Ten's being at the end of a cycle. The end of feeling backstabbed, betrayed, lied to, cheated on. Stunsky. So let's see how that pertains to the reading. Gems, we're going to start off with the Queen of Cups. Now, she's one of my favorites. All the queens are my favorite. But she is of the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Cup suit. She is extremely intelligent, and she's intuitive, and she's very fluent in speaking in matters of the heart. She's very attractive. Gemini, maybe these are the properties that you are taking on right now. Maybe you have water in your chart. Or it could be somebody that you're dealing with. Now, what's crossing you to help but hinder? You have the three of wands. Now, this is taking a course of action and seeing if your ships come in. And clearly, this person... You can see that ship. See if it's got its cargo. Gems. Maybe this is somebody that you're turning your back on. Because queen, king don't matter. It's an energy. Maybe feeling betrayed by this person or well, this person is turning the back on you and see what else is on the horizon yeah this can go either way because in your foundation gems you have the two of pentacles and this is the juggling act whether you're a pro in conning, turning your back on somebody, or somebody turning their back on you. Like I said, this is going to go either way, Gems. This guy's so busy juggling, perhaps two people, that he doesn't see his ship coming in. And this is in your foundation, Gems. I mean... If this is two people, you're missing out on an opportunity. And I think that the crossing card, the three of wands, where he can see his ship come in, gems, maybe one of these needs to be dropped. Making a decision, like a final decision. If it is two people, gems, you know, Letting one go. Because eventually, gems, both those pentacles get real heavy. And leads to this. 
Now, Gems, you are the fourth reading that I've done. And I shuffle like a mad woman. You're the fourth one that got this in the crowning reading. Whoa. Pisces got this. I think Libra had this. But this is conflict. You know, and this is like intense verbal. You know, there's no blood in this picture. And Gems, you are of the air suit. So if you're going to get analytical on somebody, you can do it with a quickness. And again, this can go either way. Tims, it's like you're trying to create something for yourself. Maybe a business endeavor. Or creating a better life. After this. Looking for your ship in the horizon, but this maybe this is a blockage. And whatever it is, Gems, you're not having it. Not by a long shot. I think you're holding your ground here. Or somebody is and you're engaging with. Hmm. Because gems in. You get a lot of major accounting here too. In the recent past. It's your first one. You get the magician. Now. This guy can make anything happen for himself. As above. So below. He creates it. He manifests it. He brings it into the here and now. Whatever he desires. Now in the recent past. Gems, whatever you're manifesting, creating, maybe it's two things at once. There could be an overburden because you're hoping that one of these projects bears fruit. Or one of these people. That you're trying to manifest and create with a situation, a better situation than was before. Hmm. It's tricky. Now going into your future, here's your other major arcana. You get the hanged man. And this is feeling stuck, feeling in limbo. But gems, you put yourself here, it's self-imposed. Not going forward, not going backwards, just there. But it's seeing something in a different perspective. Gems, do you feel stuck in making a decision? Two projects, two people, whatever has you juggling. And you're like at a deadlock? Because, Gems, I think you're trying to avoid this ever happening again. And I think that you are defending yourself, your position, and what you want to create and manifest. And then you're stuck. Gems, maybe you just don't know which one has more worth. Now, how people see you in your environment. Gems, you have the Three of Pentacles. 
Now, this is being recognized for all the fine skills, qualities, and crafts that you have. Jen is being recognized for being a great person that you are. That one guy's putting a shine there. Gems, it's the second three that I see in the reading, so I'm not going to take it off the table that, you know, third party situation. Gems, maybe other people see you juggling. Or the other way around, maybe other people see you as being juggled. And going in the future, it gets you stuck. It just, like I said, it's like a, a deadlock. Hmm. Now, gems in your environment. Another major arcana. You have justice. Now, if you have something in the judicial system, it goes your way, comes out well. But this is something being rectified, something being justified, something being made fair. Gems, maybe that's what you're contemplating. What is fair? What would be fair to all three? Now, of course, this is not for everybody. But I think this decision, Gems, is what has you stuck. And I think that's why the Queen of Cups is here. Because I do think that this is, you know, your energy that you're taking on instead of being, you know, analytical. Okay, I think this is going to be a little bit more sentimental, more emotional because... Hard to choose. What is right? What is fair? And above all, gems, what is fair to you? What does Gemini really, truly want? What does Gemini want to create? What does Gemini want to hold on to? In your hopes and fears, Gems, you have another major arcana. You have the Empress. She's awesome. She's queen of all queens. She's the only queen that has a shield that was given to her by the universe. She's divinely led. She's divinely protected. She's the great mother. She's the nurturer. She's the creator. Sometimes it means pregnancy. Let's... Not count that out, Gems. But I think this is your creative side that is dying to come out, I think. You know, that you're, what you're trying to manifest and create and get your talents out there after, after this. Gems, I do think that you want to be recognized, you know, for these, these um, skills, qualities. I think you want to make them work because the Empress can birth an idea and bring it into the here and now, like a business. Successful relationship. Because the Empress is like a little bit of all the queens. That's why she's Empress. That's why she's above. She can be methodical and practical and down to earth. She can be analytical and stand her ground. She can be sentimental. She can be passionate, fiery, motivating. Gems, I almost get the idea that you do have this thing going on that you're trying to, you know, rally up and get in motion. And maybe people are getting in the way. Gems, it very well could be that you had to turn your back on relationships 
or people who want to be in a relationship with you and you just you ain't got the time for it. You're manifesting. You're creating. I always looked at her too as the, you know, the female magician too. You got both of them here. So you got things in the works. I'm trying to be legit. This could be you very well being honest with everybody else and saying, you know, I don't have time for a relationship. Yeah, you're cool and we can hang out, but don't expect anything else. Straight up. Because with all this major arcana here, Gems, I think that you're trying not to get here. Because you got too much going here. Whatever this is, Gems, whatever you got going on that you're trying to get up off the ground, and I think you will be successful. Whether it is relationship that there's, you know, pro and conning. Maybe you're dating a couple people. Maybe you're with somebody who's dating a couple people. But either way, it almost seems like, you know, it gets in the way. Because you're on, you're charging. You're gun ho about creating. And I think that the uh, relationship game, dating, whatever, is just going to have to wait until your ship comes in. Gems, your outcome card. Another major, the Hierophant. Depicted as a Taurus. The Empress could be depicted as a Taurus or Libra. Libra, injustice. But this is having faith, having hope. Could be higher institutes of learning. But gems, this is also having a moral standard. There are things that we'll do. There's things that we won't do. There's things that we'll accept. There are things that we will just not accept. And we don't lower our moral standards for anybody or anything. So, I think that you are holding on to faith and hope, you know, and creating something. And I do think that you are putting relationship stuff on the back burner, especially after this. If you've been backstabbed and betrayed, Gems, you know, and you're trying to do something for yourself, better yourself, I could see you putting on some back burner. Psst. I don't need that. I don't need to go through those motions. But have faith. Gems and have hope. And, you know, just because you're not engaging in a relationship right now, by no means does that mean that you're lowering any moral standard. Gems, you're upholding it. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, and sharing to my channel. And I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.